Rio Mambo. Yes, we are. So we're teaching Jenny how to use the camera so we can head to this um, uh, Buddhist temple that I found over off Rosedale. It's going to be a pretty amazing adventure and I hope you all stick along. So here we are, we're at Rio Mambo, Texas, um, inside of Old Town Burleson. And it's a great little Tex-Mex place. What we're going to do is um, we are going to be uh, doing a test flight of their different margaritas. On top of that, we're going to try out their ceviche. And that's exactly what I've been looking forward to all day with some ceviche. Uh, if you don't know what ceviche is, it is raw fish, onion, cilantro, lime, and the lime juice actually cooks the fish. So it's definitely something that you should check out if you've never had it. It's not quite what you expected, and it's extremely delicious. So do me a favor, step outside your comfort zone and try something different. Okay, I mean, you probably what? Okay, so what, the, the margarita flight? Yes. What, what for are you wanting? What do you recommend? I do recommend our attitude adjustment on Miami Vice are easily our most popular. Oh, uh, yeah, she needs an attitude adjustment. Yes, of course. Uh, I know I want one of the frozen jalapeno as well. Yes, I can do that for you, ma'am. Frozen jalapeno. And then that leaves one more, right? Uh, what is this one? Uh, let me double check. Puerto Rita. It's like a raspberry. It's like a black. Yeah. All right, what's the one? What's the other two we do? Okay. That one has mango. Just do the real Frio house. The Rio Frio House Margarita. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll leave that one. That one, that, that's fine. And then, of course, the water. Oh, no, I got you. Can you use it? Uh, can I just do an unsweet tea? Unsweet tea, yes, sir. Yeah, and then, um, a. What's it called? The tomato, um, Bloody Mary? One Bloody Mary. One Bloody Mary. <laughs> the tomato! The tomato. Did you want one of the appetizers? Queso, guacamole, shrimp cocktail. Uh, we want ceviche. Is that, is that on the appetizer? Is that an appetizer or yes, what? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, we want ceviche. And we want the fish. Um, fish, I got you. Fish, no shrimp. No shrimp, got gotcha, you guys. Yeah. Anything else? Um, That'll do. We said right right? Unsweet. Unsweet. Gotcha. Unsweet. Yeah. Perfect, guys. I have that right up here. Thank you. Ceviche. Jalapeno. What's the white one? Just a house margarita. What's that one? I think this one was the attitude adjustment. And what's the last one? Miami Vice. Miami Vice. I'm super excited about that jalapeno margarita. Can't wait to check that out. But I do have my Bloody Mary. I love spicy Bloody Marys. I love spicy Bloody Marys. I mean, that one is extra spicy. Really enjoy that. This uh, tahini they put on top of it. Salty. It's got a uh, little bit of flavor. Mm, salty, sour. It just it it just ticks all those boxes that you're looking for when you're trying to like go on a flavor parade. But combine one flavor with another 
and something new was created. So, again, ceviche is, is raw fish, but it's cooked with lime juice or citric acid. So, what's so amazing about this is the purple onion, the cilantro, the lime, the avocado, and then we have this beautiful white fish right on top of this chip. It's going to be... It's sour, it's salty. The fish, it's it's fish, but it's not fishy. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Mm. How is it, Jenny? Yeah. Looks good. So from the from the Bloody Mary to the margaritas to the ceviche. So far we've had an amazing time. Rio Mambo is uh, it's right inside the heart of Old Town Burleson. It's right off of Renfro Street, which has been a street that's been a staple of this city for over a hundred years. It's absolutely, absolutely insane that there is so much growth. There's, there's so much uh, advancement within the city. I can't wait to take y'all along to the rest of these places. There's a lot of local favorites, such as um, Spice Rack Bar and Grill, uh, right around the corner. We have some Fish City Grill, right around the corner from that. And there's an Old South Pancake House. And then there's a grocery store that's been here for the past like 70 years. We're definitely gonna check all those things out. But for right now, we're at Rio Mambo, right on the corner of I-35 and Renfro. You're gonna take the, the Renfro exit, it's right there on the corner. You should definitely come here and check this out. Tell you what, it's a lot better than Taco Bell. Hmm. I'm like, actually glad that they decided to put a little bit of paprika on the sour cream. Just adds a little bit of depth that you're looking for. Remember, it's just cheese, beans, chips, jalapenos. But everything comes together quite nicely. Six or seven out of ten. I mean, they're just nachos. Nothing crazy, but I did order their bottom of the barrel nachos. But, <laughs> their Bloody Mary is a ten out of ten. I will say though, that this ceviche, is absolutely amazing.
That fish is absolutely ridiculously good. The lime juice, the onion, cilantro, the garlic, every little bit that's in there, absolutely amazing. You know, if you don't like sushi, because it's not cooked, you should try some ceviche. That's like the Mexican version of sushi. It's absolutely delicious. Hey guys, do you like alcohol? Do you like spicy stuff? Because this is a jalapeno margarita. It's pretty damn good. It tastes like a straight, it tastes like a jalapeno covered sugar, but with no spice. If that makes any sense. Now, I will say that's one thing here that Rio Mamba has done great is their cocktails have been on point. This is probably one of the best Bloody Marys I've ever had in my entire life. The ceviche is absolutely, absolutely on point. We've had a great time with our nachos. All of Ginny's drinks. Well, she smashed them, so I guess they've been pretty good. The only thing that we have a single issue with is this pre-processed queso. It's a little too salty to my taste. Um, it's too salty. It just doesn't have that uh, je ne sais quoi that most queso has. If you've ever been to Poncho's back in the day, Poncho's had some amazing canned queso. <laughs> as far as the processed queso goes, this is not so good. But other than that, everything else that we've had here has been absolutely, absolutely amazing. And I'll drink to that.